September 1st, 2013. These are archived images going back to March in 2011 from the 7th until midnight the next day on the 8th. And what happened is you see we had several flares. Two of them were X flares. Now the one on the 7th and the one coming up, if you notice the time stamp, is 8, 1600 hours. Just before midnight, there was the second X flare. Now it, it rung the bell on the satellites early, just a few minutes later, on the early morning hours of the 9th. And that's when it was picked up and classified as a 1.5. These are now, this is stereo, different satellite. We are behind Earth. Earth is to the right of the sun. You see those coronal mass ejections going out. That pressure, and again, the, the larger one is about to come up. Again, we're at 8, 1600 hours, just before midnight. As this camera is pulsing the whole day, even before the flares, you saw that. Now, I'm going to kind of stop it and let's show you a couple things that are happening here. This is Stereo A, different satellite on the other side of the sun, part of the stereo program, but this is ahead of Earth. In this ca camera, Earth is to the left, there. There's your flare, first one, started building up energy on the Earth. Look at the coronal mass ejection, millions of miles of it. It's going into the eighth, you see smaller flares. And then again, just before midnight, you'll see a couple things happen but the, again the entire camera was pulsing that whole day and there's that X second X flare just before midnight hour now here on the 22nd that's the first I mean on the 7th that's the first flare and you see those two objects as taken out of there it looks like on the camera don't know really what it is after they dropped off that uh, they poured something on the Sun and took off just makes me think of that guys but Look at the energy involved in that flare, and the Earth is to the left of the Sun when you're looking at A. It's ahead of Earth in our orbit on its counterclockwise rotation. Strong flares, I'm going to let it play through. There's your, that X. First one, let's let it come through, and again, tremendous amount of uh, mass ejection there. Second smaller flare. starting to build up again and you've seen these X flares before come out in pairs now let's switch and go back to a camera that is close to earth looking at the Sun so you what you get what I call an earth facing view there's a first flare in the top left it created the signature moments later it appears moments later because of the way these images are downloaded but we got two flares in this images again they're archived back from the seventh to midnight on the 8th. I'll stop this on the uh, right at the event. See some amazing things there. We'll back it up. You notice those flashes and pulses that was going on again on all the satellites that day. There's your X signature from that flare. The next one comes from there, and as you can see the CME very well. Now what's happening is those two sunspots are arcing over, touching each other, creating that flare. If you look at it in high D, you can definitely see the signature. Right there there's, is that X, and there's your CME. Now guys, I went back also archived March 9th, space weather. It's uh, solar wind speed 297, remember that X flare just detected an impulse of X1 fast coronal mass ejection from sunspot 11 again 66 next day March 10th your solar wind speed from that coronal mass ejection is up to 380 X1.5 they're talking about it uh, was ended with a powerful solar flare from 1166 that spot it was that was had the triple magnetic configuration needed for that now let's go up until the a day of the earthquake on March 11th Our archives there solar wind speed had doubled from two days ago to 465 kilometers per second 
First magnetic field is still reverberating from a CME strike on March 10th. That started it. That was the one on the 7th. Then when the one hit it on the 8th, it could take it no more. And it, that surface of the Earth was affected. Now, I'm going to look at a couple other things. Notice here the X.15 explosive from the, it was a behemoth sunspot 1166, they called it, the behemoth, the 2323. Now, guys, this right here is, uh, I just wanted to throw this in because it was one of the events of that day. Now, no, nobody knows that this had anything to do with it. We've all heard things about, was there an underwater explosion? Was the harp involved? But one of the things that did happen was, and this was reported, notice that green arrow is coming out of Texas, and it was reported there that a meteorite or a fireball was detected in the daytime headed in the direction of Japan. Notice the top left there, the date uh, 1121. So people had seen a fireball that day, and you know, so people, they were trying to tie it in, but it did occur. These are, again, archive records. This is another thing on that date. An asteroid 2011 look at that I 11 March 11 2011 this thing came extremely close to the earth it didn't hit us but again it reminds me of the fireball from asteroid 2012 that went over Russia and we saw that explosion now this is what happened after the quake the tsunami came in this is Japan from a helicopter view and though you're looking at the power plants there on the bay, guys. That's the day that changed the world. They can't stop it. And they're saying by early 2014, just a few months away, that the California bays will be filling with cesium-137. You need to Google that. Now, this was a 9.0 quake. They called it a mega thrust. It was classified as a 4, which is violent. The, the catch this, the tsunami was 40.5 meters or 133 feet at Miyako, Awata, and Tohoku. 15,000 deaths, 260, I mean 2,600 missing. On that day, volcanic eruptions accompanied the earthquake in Japan as this pressure from these X flares struck the earth. The Indonesian volcano erupts hours two Russian volcanoes in Kamchatka simultaneous with the quake. Sakurajima in Japan following the quake. The Japan's earthquake on Friday, 8.9, making it a, a thousand times more intense than the quake in Haiti in 2010. It, the island of Henshu moved 2.4 meters to the east. You don't think God can move the islands and when he pours something on that sun, guys? But this is when I think it started. This is the seven-year countdown. This was with a Haiti quake. It was not as strong. It was a 7.0, but it happened before they started the spring season of the Passover that year. And we talked about the festival of the weeks. 100,000 to 316,000 deaths, highest figures from the government. Again, just a 7.0. But I think this started it, and then what we saw in Japan was a series of events as an example, guys, of what can happen. And I'm going to show you those series of events somewhere else. Now, guys, the series of events that I just showed you in the video correspond exactly to Revelation 16 in the order of events, the way God does things. And I want to read this, and it says, The fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun. That's what we're talking about. And powers were was given unto him to scorch men with fire. And men were scorched with great heat and blasphemed the name of God whom had power over these plagues and they repented not to give him glory and the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seat of the beast and his kingdom was what? full of darkness and they gnawed their tongues for pain you get the right X flare and you get one of these Carrington events guys where you, you can it, it's like an EMP it will shut the power off on this globe you get the just the right one earth facing it's happened before now and that's where you get that kingdom of darkness it is going to be dark the power is going to be down and he blasphemed and they blaspheme the name of god god in heaven they're, they're continuing to do it guys because of the pains in their sores and repented not of their deeds repetitive get a plague something happens they won't repent the 
The sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the water there was dried up. The kings of the east and the east of the might be prepared. And I saw the three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are the spirits of devils working miracles which go forth into the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of the great day of God Almighty. The seventh trump, guys, not the sixth. And in the whole chapter, there's one sentence in red that Christ interceded and put in here. To, and there's a reason. He said, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his, his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. He did that to let you know how fast these events can happen. You saw in the video, in two days, it changed the earth. Fukushima cannot be stopped. And he gathered them together in a place called, in the Hebrew tongue, Armageddon. And the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air, and there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven for the throne, saying, It is done. And there were voices and thunders and lightnings. There was a great earthquake, such as was not seen since men were upon the earth, so mighty an earthquake and so great. And the great city was divided into three parts. And the cities of the nations fell. And great Babylon came in remembrance before God to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. The great Babylon of today are these world powers that are destroying the earth and leading us to war. God will take care of it. And every island fled away and the mountains were not found. You saw in the video where that island moved in Japan. And there fell upon men a great hell out of heaven. What? About the weight of a talent and the men blasphemed God because of the plague of the hell. For the plague thereof was exceedingly great. They were still blaspheming God. And I'll tell you why I'm going to back this up just a little bit. Because he, remember he poured the darkness out. The Antichrist is here, guys. Let's go back to just 16.6. For they had shed the blood of the saints and the prophets, and they had cast, and they has, and thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are worthy. The, why weren't the saints and the prophets raptured out, guys? Heads up. 